This time we're reading the, or not we're reading, we're reviewing The Boys in the Boat by Daniel James Brown. And it was selected for book club by Liz, so she gets to kick us off with a synopsis. I forgot about this um, and did not prepare. <laughs> the Boys in the Boat is about the rowing team from the United States that go to the 1936 Olympics or Hitler's Olympics. So it goes back and forth between like what's happening with the boys um, growing up during like the Great Depression and the Dust Bowl and like all this adversity and like getting their rowing careers going. And then at the same time, what's going on in like Germany and Hitler's rise to power. Precisely. It is nine Americans and their epic quest for gold at the 1936 Berlin Olympics. That's what it says on the cover. Yeah. Thanks, Nina. Which is a good Yeah, one. good ad. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Okay, so I'll write first. Um, I actually thought quite a bit about this today, and I'm going to rate it solid B because. It was about a sport that I did not know about. So I liked that. I learned a ton about rowing, probably a little too much, a lot too much, a little too in depth. But I learned about a sport that I really knew nothing about before. And I didn't have to be like a rowing fan to really get into the story. And so I appreciated that aspect of it. But not only that, it kind of weaved in a bunch of different storylines. Um, so you got to go through, you know, the Great Depression a bit. The Dust Bowl, Black Sunday, all these things that I had heard about, but I never had really thought of uh, or like read a person's account who had actually lived through them. So I liked how that was woven into the storyline too. My only negative criticism is that it was too long. It was too much definition, too much description, uh, a little too emotional at times. And so that's why I didn't read it in A because I wouldn't read it myself again, but I do think I would recommend it to other people. I think it's a very good story uh, and one that's worth the read. All right, Steve Stein, what's your rating? I'll give you, I'll go one up from you and I'll say a B plus. Um, actually, a lot of the same things that you kind of said, I, I would say too. Um, I enjoyed hearing the historical aspects of the book. So the Great Depression, World War II, um, kind of just how life was like in those times because I think we all grew up with stories about those times that we've never really Known a whole lot about them or what went on and it's just a whole different time period I mean we're growing up and I'm like oh that was you know that wasn't that long ago you know things haven't changed that much but now you look at like 2022 and it's like wow like we've we've come a long way it's almost a century now mm -hmm. so I enjoyed those parts but but those parts in general a very small portion of the book like what like a paragraph here and there maybe on Hitler or on um, I guess more on the Great Depression a little bit but it's interesting to hear those stories it got a little bit too much into the mechanics of rowing every single time they race there's several scenes in the book where they race obviously and every time they race it's like oh we did 36 strokes here and then 40 strokes here and then my muscles were burning here and this and that and i'm like i just couldn't really get into those parts that much to be honest i kind of read ahead and i'm like oh look this this team won or this that team won um just to quicken it up a little bit um so for those reasons, I would give it a B plus. Um, I would recommend it to other people to read. Um, I think it's a great book for other people to read. Um, I would probably not read it myself again, but I'm glad I had the experience of reading it through one time. That's a good review. And the best. I gave it a B minus. Um, my favorite parts were more or less learning about Joe's life more than like all the rowing stuff and when he was like in school it was kind of boring because that's all he they talked about was like the shell house and who sat in what seat in the boat and blah 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 i found it more interesting like his personal life and how he got there and then another like facet that i liked more was like when they <laughs> went to germany and they talked about like seeing the nazis and germans for the first time and how they were like they had all this stuff hidden, you know, <laughs> to make Germany look so great and all that. I thought that was more interesting than, yeah, like Stu said, the mechanics of rowing. And I, yeah, I definitely skipped over some parts where I was like, yeah, I don't care. Just who, tell me who won. <laughs> or I'd read like that last paragraph where they're like, oh, they're almost to the finish line, blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah, I was like, okay. 
whatever. <laughs> I did think it was um, like really good writing on Jane. It's not Daniel's part. Mm -hmm. first name basis by the fact that you already knew the ending of the story before starting the book but the story itself was still captivating kind yeah of yeah he was a good writer like it was interesting all right liz you're up if yeah sorry let me know if you can hear barking in the background things got a little out of hand um so i also gave it a b minus for like the same stuff you guys talked about um but I think the thing that annoyed me the most about the book, because everything annoys me today, was um, like, it seemed like they just kept going back to this kind of like touchy feely emotional story of like, it's not like how physically strong you are, right? It's like trusting the boys in the boat, right? And like being a team and being vulnerable. And like, I, I get it, but it was like emphasized too much and I just didn't really enjoy that. But I liked the story. I thought it was really good. I'm glad I read it. Um, and we actually start, started watching the like PBS documentary last night. Did you give it a rating? Yeah, B minus. Oh, you did say B minus. Okay, I didn't hear that part. Um, must have been thinking about something else. Did you like the PBS thing? I saw a YouTube uh, sh like quick snippet of it. Yeah, but the only downside was it was like pretty much the book, but it had pictures. Oh. And like, oh, that was cool. Yeah, but I like, like the pictures. Those are cool. Yeah, yeah but, but it was like pretty much just re emphasizing everything we just like read exactly. Um, so. And they are making it into a movie. There's no release date, I don't think. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. But George Clooney is directing. Yeah. That's what Court said. Yeah. So that will be in the works in the future, too. I could see it being a really good book or good movie. Let's do some spoilers because there's a couple things I want to talk about. So spoiler time. Can we talk about the most hated person in the entire book? Hitler. Oh, yes, we can. Tula. Tula's huh? worse. <laughs> oh, yeah. More so than Hitler. <laughs> Seriously. Where did she die? That was my favorite page. I was like in the middle. I was in the middle. I think so. I think we should let everyone know that she was the stepmother to Joe and she was an awful human being. She just left him on the side of the road to chop lumber at a schoolhouse when he was like 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And all throughout, all throughout his life, it seemed, she kind of loomed in the background and she was never more than a few miles away. Mm -hmm. And the whole family was there and she's just hanging out, won't let him visit, just never yes. and then joe kept going back to her she kept he kept being like yes. oh she's gotten better she's changed whatever she never did and then she died and that was a on what page i can't find it i drew a little smiley face by it and i wanted to show you but i can't find it um not only did she die but she died a shitty death she got like sepsis in the colon and no good well i guess sepsis goes all over your body but she died a very painful death and it seemed to be kind of karma for all of the like not even just mean like deeply deeply wrong things that she did throughout her life to joe and she also married her sister's brother's dad which just started out everything her very sister's weird. husband's dad oh, that's yeah. What I meant. yeah sister's husband's dad. the twin <laughs> sister married a dad and a and a son so she was her sister's stepmom. Yes. Yeah. Weird. So much. Yeah. I don't know. But I guess the biggest spoiler is that they win the Olympics. <laughs> yeah, they win. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the journey. The whole book's about the journey to get there. Yeah. I, we should also talk about Bobby Mock because he seems amazing. He was my favorite person on the team. He was what, the coxswain? Is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. okay. like telling them what to do, like what to row, like when. Mm -hmm. Screaming at them as they row. He seems very like sassy. I liked him. 
Well, the parts of the races that I did read, which wasn't much, um, it did seem like he was a big part of why the team would pull forward and win because there's this whole strategy of like starting off slow and then you get faster and then you get slow. Like there's a whole kind of a mental game. And although he wasn't the one with the muscle, he was still kind of playing that mental game with the other teams and he was very good at what he did and just a likable guy. Yeah, and he yelled like, likeable. yeah, he yelled like, like code acronyms and stuff to get them like pumped up or whatever. Well, like, false, so false like, signals too. Kind yeah. of like inappropriate things so he wouldn't get in trouble. Like acronyms. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's funny that the two competing teams in the story too, like in the newspapers would downplay like their own team. Uh, so like, I'm blanking on the state. Is it Oregon? Seattle, okay. Washington. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's been a long day, um, but like the Washington, uh, like reporters or the, the coach will be like, oh, we're terrible this year or, oh, we're going to, we're really slow. And they would like kind of bash themselves in the news, which I feel like is not typically is like the common stance now. I feel like the, like the Rams aren't going to go to the reporters and be like, yeah, I think we're going to lose the Super Bowl. It's just different tactics. Yeah. Something else is interesting like how much more prevalent rowing seemed to be like in the news and people listen to it more uh, the book made it seem like is it like the number one sport in america at the time and that's dropped off significantly i would think i don't think anyone watches rowing anymore do they do they even still have it in the olympics yeah they totally do i feel like i'm gonna get a lot of hateful comments on this youtube <laughs> i'm gonna look it up who's this dumb girl <laughs> They just tried to take out wrestling, so I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if that one was one of the first ones to get axed. I don't know if they successfully took out, you know, if you're going to take out a sport, you think wrestling would be the last one since it's like, that's what they were doing in ancient Greece, I think. We think. Until we get some historians on here. <laughs> <laughs> they have lightweight rowing. Okay. It looks pretty similar. All right. They only have four people in the boat, though. They had nine in this boat. Eight. Eight rowers and then a coxswain, I think. Yeah, it looks like they have like single, double, four person. Well, overall, I'd say it's a good read. We'd all recommend it, especially as a nonfiction. It's uh, captivating. A little. <laughs> boring parts, but you'll have that in any book. Okay, bye. <laughs> I love it.